Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm out here in the cold. Well, for Michigan it's actually a warm day. It's supposed to get up to 46 today, but it's supposed to be raining this afternoon. So I wanted to get this part of the job done today, early in the morning. I'm going to be doing some work up in the garage on doing the fabricating for the lift. What I've got is an engine hoist. Bob Collins was nice enough to give me an engine hoist with the proviso that I should try and make it so that it attaches to a tractor. Well, that was a long time ago. And I never really had a need for it. Well, now I want to do something where I need a lift. So I decided that this, today is the day we're going to come out here and actually get the measurements on the thing, figure out where we're going. If I want to have the beam lift straight up and down, I need to have the upper and lower arms the same length. But there's a problem with a Ford 8N. With the Ford 8N, this attachment point is further back than what the attachment point is for the lower lift arms. Now I need to measure where they are in relationship to each other. The best way I know of to do that is with a plumb bottom. By taking the plumb bob, setting it on the center of that lower pin, The back edge of that cardboard is even with the center line of the lower arm mounting pin. Now I'm going to have to estimate, guesstimate, do the best I can. Which would probably be easier if I didn't have a three point implement on there. But you do what you can with what you got. Get up on top of the tractor. Okay, that line right to the B is the distance. Seven inches, center to center. There's the rear axle. There's the pin. That's the linkage. And that's the hole. If I come down here, that's seven inches. Crude drawing, but it's enough to give me an idea what I'm doing. So I need to put an extension on the back end of that beam, seven inches long. On that attachment point, I need to give it two inches to allow for that upper arm, that upper linkage. So I can put a pin through there. I'll be able to adjust the tilt on the hoist by lengthening or shortening this. But as long as these two are the same length, this will always go straight up and down. So I don't want to adjust the tilt too much. Because it's real important to have this go straight up and down. That way you're not, when you lift the hoist, you don't tip the hoist down into the part you're trying to lift and lose all the lift that you gained. Okay, we got the measurements. Now we're going to go up in the garage and cut some steel. At least I think we're going to cut some steel. I don't know if I got anything that will actually cut steel yet. 